So here we are in uh, Sue Trot's home block. This is in uh, Blue Springs sub-region of McLaren Vale. And uh, this is a 70, 75 year old vineyard. Very steep site. Uh, bush vines, really important for um, Grenache. And uh, giving a little bit of shade, making sure they don't get too ripe too quickly. And uh, they're all in this amazing sand. This is uh, some of the oldest soil in the world. Uh, and it's pretty unique in that it's um, windblown sand. It's not because this used to be a beach. It's all been windblown. Very, very unique soils. Very deep, quite meagre, not much in the way of, uh, of nourishment here for the vines, but the, uh, the roots tap right down. Uh, there's a mixture of uh, there's some sort of quartz type stones and there's a bit of uh, uh, ironstone as well, which is always, there's little bits of it there. Um, and what this gives us is amazingly fragrant fruit character, which is what we're looking for in uh, Pinot Noir. We're looking for uh, Grenache, sorry, Freudian slip. We're, we're looking for really small berries. We're not too worried about color. Uh, we're looking for aroma, fragrance. We do a little bit of whole bunch. And for the first time in 2016, we're also gonna be doing some whole bunch in concrete eggs. And what we hope uh, that's going to do is combining with uh, this beautiful sandy soil structure um, then giving the wine uh, a long ferment in concrete is going to really bring out that aromatic profile which is so important for Grenache you don't want to get it too too big too ripe you want it fine elegant pure a little bit like Pinot Noir and this site here in McLaren Vale is absolutely perfect for that these beautiful bunches of Grenache here, small tight berries, perfectly ripe, nice brown seeds. Perfectly ripe for picking, which is just as well because uh, we've just picked this vineyard and uh, these are the remaining grapes on this patch. So this is the the birthplace of 2016 Vagabond Grenache.